Right, let's do another machine now, shall we? Right, we've done the skull, and now we go to the opposite end of the spectrum. This geezer. Black Shadow. The main antagonist of the series as a whole. So, and he's also, I'll tell you something though, his machine is nowhere near the best. In fact, it's one of the worst machines in this game. Purely because of his inability to boost. And that was not the best idea. Come on, out of the way. I am the evil Black Master. Get out of my way. That includes you, Zuda. I just wanted to get rid of Zuda because he's a butt monkey. Disappointing. Yeah, I've got him. Zuda is the butt monkey of the zoo. He's one of the butt monkeys in the series, so I had to put him in this place. I'll tell you what, though, the only redeeming qualities of this machine is his grip. Because he's well, he's a well, he's a fat one, isn't he? He's too fat. He's too heavy. He's the heaviest machine in this game, and as well in his anime counterparts as well. But he's the strongest in terms of body, which doesn't mean much. Which doesn't mean too much if your well, if your machine is otherwise engaged in some other form of driving, which you need to do very well. Which this isn't. Believe me, even though I'm pulling away here, this is one of the easier tracks in the game to get right. Capture circuit based on the Silver Cup track of the same name. On standard and novice. Most of these tracks are on standard and novice difficulty in its in its main home. Its main counterpart series. Alright, so that's okay. Oh, right. Right, next one is um, Half Dome. It's not Speed High Road. Where did I get Speed High Road from? Oh no, I forgot it. It was from Sonic Adventure. I know I took four machines out, because that was the last one it finished. Right, this is difficult. So, well, basically, because I need to hit all the dash plates, and this is necessary for me to hit all of them. Deep! I know that Octopus is a bit of a pain in the butt, but that was a. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is. You're also relying a lot on AI cooperation here, but if the AI doesn't cooperate, you're in trouble. Oh, I've got two more machines, that's fine. This is the big advantage of this machine it can take out machines easily, effortlessly. The reason why I'm trying to hit the dash plates is because dash plates are C grade, are the equivalent of C grade boost. Black Shadow's boost is an E grade, so that's why I need to. It's all the vital for me to hit them. And this time around, I need the dash. Yeah, that wasn't really worth it there. So anyway, Black Shadow is the main antagonist of the series of both the anime and the video game equivalent. Come on. And he's the head of Dark Minion. Which is the evil organisation against the mobile platoon squad of user Zack. Should be sub- WHAP! Just wanted to destroy the machine just for the sake of it. Just for the sake of it, I'm just going to destroy the machine, that's fine. But I finished, so it counts. Key breaks next up. Another novice standard track for the Gold Cup. A genuine Gold Cup track. A little bit high up as well. Guys, oh, gotta get a fifth in there somewhere. Right. 
doesn't look likely. Missed a dash, but that's not going to matter because a lot of them are still going to be flying off the track. Jump's going to help me a bit as well. But yeah, this is, because of the aforementioned weight problem, this is actually going to be one of the hardest machines to get this done. But these tracks are okay. This track's okay. But it's going to be a little bit later on in the run where I'm going to be feeding the weight. I'm going to be feeding all the dead weight of this machine. Making sure I hit all the C plates. The dash plates as well. That's a I hit the checkpoint, I can hit checkpoints there. So anyway, Black Shadow is the consistent thorn in the mobile platoon squad side. First inviting Dr. Stewart in 28 to fix somebody up. More spoilers on that one later down the line. And at the end of it, he plants a bomb in the aforementioned characters and tries to blow mobile platoons up down there. However, he manages to steal some DNA while he was at it. And that really would rear its ugly head in the very next episode. Well, the next two episodes, 29 and 30. And will cause a rivalry as well. So all he's trying to do is manipulate people. He's a very good manipulator. He's a manipulator of people. That is not exactly what I had in mind. Okay, we'll take it. Bye, Gusta. Oh, uh, do that is the pain on the back side again. Because of its A grip, the because of its A grip, the sliding abilities of this machine are limited. Again, slip down, but slider settings for me is the best way to go about this track. His heavy machinery is not allowing me to turn very well or either. Okay. It would kind of help if I knew where the pipe was, wouldn't it? It would, it would kind of help if I knew where the exit of the pipe was, wouldn't it? You can double tap dive with an egret machine, but I don't have that, and that did not go well. Yeah, that didn't quite help me, unfortunately, there. So I'm a little bit behind on a will of which. Oh, bye, Leon. And he still made it, amazingly. I mean, Leon is just one of those characters. I can explain a little bit later on down the line. So anyway, so this, this track is basically the um, equivalent of, uh, what you call it, it's going to be, it's the equivalent of its climax counterpart in the Game Boy Advance series game which was released in 2004. And I'm still regarded as one of the better players on the game even though I don't rate myself too highly here because not a lot of people got to play the game because of its Japan only status. It's only recently got renewed popularity because the uh, competition website which is responsible for the F-Series series allowed emulation for that game. It wouldn't allow elimination for X though because of the way the N64 works on elimination. And that's about it really. I missed the jump! How did I miss the jump? Oh boy, we got there in the end though, that's for certain. Oh well, another machine out the way. Master manipulator of people. He also manipulated the reactor mite as well for good measure because he knows about the power of them, which is more than what could be said for a number of other people. Only a few people know the true potential of the reactor mite, which was first introduced in episode 25. 
Right, so now we go back to the eagle circuit. This is going to be a nightmare. But that means I'm going to have to destroy machines, baby. I'm going to have to destroy machines effectively. Oh, guess I don't need to destroy my cloud. Out the way, Jody. Hi, Kate. At least I don't need to worry about KM now. Apple will destroy himself. Yep. There's a lot of Batman Gambit here. Do this enemy next. By then again, he is an elite group machine. He's in an elite grade body machine, so that's not surprising to me. Not entirely surprised that Leon's going to get ahead of me here because his body, is, his boost is C grade and my command's going to buy E. And it's not helpful if I hit the walls all the time, is it? I'm going to make sure I heal. Okay, so I've got Leon off and I've got the machine back too. Because I've got five machines off, I've got an extra one back. I've lost, I've, I've regained the machine which I lost at uh, Big Blue when I didn't know where the exit of the pipe was, but there you go. It can happen. There we go, another one done. That's actually one of the hardest tracks to win with Last Shadow, and I managed to do it. Three, two, one, now it's time for Lost Way 3, which is the hardest of the gold tracks. Bye bye to a Nielsen. And uh, because of the fact I got another five machines off, I get another machine back again. That's the big advantage of Black Shadow. I've got five machines off there. Which is good, so that's fine. That's going to help me enormously for this next part. So, let's make it a good one, eh? Oh dear, that's not a good idea, missing the death eh? So right by the time these are up to go, Black Shadow is really up in the ante here. Up in the stakes. I'm really getting underneath the both of our two squad's nose. Even more so now because he sees him as a threat. Well, because Vue, on the other hand, is getting better. So he has to find more ways of trying to get rid of him. Until it disappears. As it is up to four. Quite a lot of those episodes help because he threw him in a dark. He threw him in a dark space. In a dark parallel world, so to speak. He cut the end of episode 26 when he couldn't control the power of his own reactor mic. Well, mind you, he did, he did stick it into his stomach though, so that might explain why he couldn't control it. Also, pay attention to the lines that I'm doing. Taking wider lights in order to get a better line out of the corner. Yeah, this is actually the hardest to choose wood this to get a perfect one on this track. Oh, hello, two barrels off the track by the look of it. He's 
taking his way downwards to the end of the uh, end of the route. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, you do that sort of thing. It does happen. So to summarise Black Shadow, he becomes more of a nuisance. He summons Dr. Stewart in episode 28 to try and fix a certain somebody who had a brain, Roy Hughes, as the name, to try and fix him up. Dr. Stewart is able to be successful in that, but then he puts a bomb in there to try and blow him up. He then uses the data which Dr. Stewart had in order to revive Roy Hughes and create Blood Falcon, which is a clone of Captain Falcon, but I'll explain more detail about that one when I get to Bloodhawk. When I get to the Bloodhawk part of the machine. He then throws Falcon and Ryu into dark space to allow Zuda to get back. And then he finds another reactor might with Blood Falcon's attempts to get rid of Falcon and Ryu, but he only gets rid of Falcon, and then he tries to disband the Mobile Platoon Squad. So yeah, bad. Third place, EAD. With great stars. Second place, Kate Allen with the Super Piranha. And last but not least, the winner, Black Shadow with the Black Bull. The E will do the Dark Minion. I haven't quite grasped which episode that's from yet. But I'm strongly suspecting it's one of the latter episodes. And also the climax picture. You gotta love it, eh? No, oh, no phone jobs, that's nice anyway. <laughs> That's enough of this machine on this part, so, uh, yeah, let's... Yeah, YouTube obligatory is here, so let's carry on.